Hello, welcome to the Snap-on EECS 150 battery system tester. This tester is designed to connect to standard lead acid 12 volt batteries and 12 volt AGM stop start batteries. So let's connect up the system tester and see how it functions. As you can see we have our crocodile clips, we connect up to our negative terminal and our positive terminal, but be aware that the battery system tester is also polarity protected so if you connect in correctly on the car you will do no damage to the vehicle battery or to your battery system tester. As you can see we've got our main menus and at the top we've got a menu for testing the battery on the vehicle to then continue to do a starter motor test and then to test the alternator. Below that we've got a folder icon on the left which is for our setting options and on the right we've got our voltmeter to give us our general voltage readings off the car. Below that is a symbol of a battery which enables us to test batteries the 12 volt lead acid and the 12 volt AGM actually off the vehicle as well. So let's see how the battery system tester actually functions on the vehicle. First thing we do is that we can go onto the top menu, we can press our middle enter button and as you notice on the navigation we've got up, down, left, right to guide us around the screens. Press the middle button for our enter. Then we've got our applications, you can see the picture of the house which is telling us to go back to the front screen or we can go on to the passenger cars or we can go on to our bike setting. So we select our car and press the enter button. You notice we've got the battery type, the regular which is our 12 volts lead acid batteries and our stop start batteries AGM and the AGM spiral. So we select our regular battery. So we can notice that the arrow is on regular and if we press our down arrow buttons it will go to the AGM and the AGM spiral. This, on this vehicle we've got a regular lead acid battery, we select the middle and then you notice that we have to specify the, the capacity of the battery and the batteries are rated in either cold cranking amp CCA or EN or SAE or IEC. As you can tell on this battery, we've got our sticker on the battery and we can see what our CCA rating is on here. So EN or SAE rating as we choose. So we're going to choose the standard CCA rating that's on the top of our menu. So we select the enter button. It then allows us to ask to choose the CCA. It goes up in increments of five. You typically find the one closest to the spec. It's set up for 440 already, but as you can see, pressing the up or down will change the value. We got 440. We press the enter button to say that's our specification, and it automatically now tests our battery and comes up on this vehicle with a good battery with its current voltage and the current rating. It then now wants us to carry on automatically to a starter test. So it flashes the results, goes back and says starter. So I'm gonna now sort of I know, press to go for starter and start the engine. The display changes to a voltmeter to give us both our cranking voltage and then now our alternator voltage. Again, if it was going to fully test out um, our alternator, we'd put some load on, rev the vehicle up to maintain our voltage. So this is our simple and easy that our menu system makes it on the snap, snap on system to enable you to do those three main tests on the vehicle. Thank you.